Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from K Hux Nation, and in today's video, we're going over the latest metal that came into Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. It is also featuring Black Friday deals, whole slew of them, uh, and I'll be going over those in a second as well. But uh, that'll be towards the later portion of the video. We're gonna cover the metal and the banner itself first. So just Jumping straight into things, obviously, as you can see on the screen, we have a brand new Sephiroth medal in the game. Supernova Plus Plus Kingdom Hearts De Sephiroth Dissidia, which is just is an interesting name in my opinion. Um, but we got a new Sephiroth medal in the game. All right. However, the first thing worth noting before you know what the heck he does is the fact that he is a 15 Mercy. Pull. 15 and this is supposed to be the Black Friday deal banner all right and they they do this they seem to be doing this almost every year now at this point where uh, they you know they they call it a deal but it's really even more egregious than it usually is because um, I mean obviously for any of you who happen to be playing even remotely you know somewhat Constantly or like uh, like you even play on a somewhat regular basis. You know that banners never go higher than like 10 mercy because 10 mercy is already a lot That's 30,000 jewels typically so 15 mercy is 4,500 jewels, but you know They give you the first draw free, right? <laughs> what a steal it's really not you're still spending 42,000 jewels just to mercy this thing and like Jesus Christ that's that's a that's ridiculous um, just by the tone of my voice and stuff you, you can probably already tell what my you know advice is gonna be in terms of whether or not to pull for this video but anyways going on to the actual metal itself okay I will say though I like the artwork even though it kind of looks like someone just kind of easily photoshopped it I'll just leave it at that. Um, anyways, the actual ability itself though, uh, Sephiroth Asidia has 43,000 strength, which is huge. Uh, is an, uh, has a, ah, can't speak today. Cost four gauges is tier 10, has a damage multiplier of a 67.03 to an 80.64, so one of the highest in the game. Um, is an AOE metal, does three hits for one turn. Increases the power metal strength by 2,500. Currently the highest in the game. All right. Uh, increases or, you know, yeah. Increases your general strength, reverse strength, and power strength by 15 tiers. Lowers the target's general defense, reverse defense, and power defense by 15 tiers. Increases or, yeah, guilt buff by 200%. Does more damage the higher your HP. Also does pierces enemies defenses by 30 you know 30 percent at the time okay supernova 220 multiplier aoe has mastery mechanics so basically it does more damage against super effective uh targets compared to normal uh for one turn increases power metal strength by 5000 increases your reverse strength by 15 tiers uh debuffs the enemy's reverse defense by 15 tiers increases your guilt buff by 300 percent okay also triggers before slot one is activated when defending in pvp all right so in terms of how good sephiroth is quite literally he's one of the best metals in the game um in terms of multipliers he's one of the he's one of the strongest metals in the game he's always going to have that 80 0.64 multiplier just because of the fact that uh, his damage condition is the higher HP and you're pretty much always always gonna have hot, you know max HP uh, because of the fact that if you're using Kyrie a she refills HP to max or or she own a she she refills HP to max as well as nominee the new nominee also refills HP to max so it's like this ain't even a problem you're pretty much gonna hit that 80.64 almost every single time um, so, and that's currently one of the highest multipliers in the game. Um, I think there's only like, I think the highest multiplier is like an 81 or 82. So it's really not that far off at all. Uh, I will say as well too, that the fact that it increases 
all of your necessary buffs and debuffs, at least for power anyways, power and reverse, to max is also something worth noting. Um, so it is kind of self-sustaining. Uh, assuming you're working with, like, let's say Darknaw, for instance, you're working with a pure power reverse keyblade, uh, which is Darknaw, you could technically just have Sephiroth in your first slot and just start doing max damage. Uh, don't even need, like, the buffer metal. Assuming you're, you're trying to kill something in one turn, I should add. Obviously, you still want the second chance if you're trying to live for multiple turns, but that's just, you know, a technicality. Like, uh, this is assuming you just... If you really wanted to, you could. Uh, wouldn't recommend it, but you could, type of thing. Uh, this is, but the real kicker here, realistically, is the fact that it increases power metal strength by 2500. That's the biggest thing, and as well as that the supernova by 5000. These are huge. By far already the highest in the game. It also kind of adds, you know, insult to injury that is also a piercing metal too for PvP. Because, you know, of course, why not? And it's also the highest guilt buffing metal in the game too. Because, you know, of course, why not? They really just wanted to go all out for Sephiroth. That's what what, what, what they're really saying here. Um, which isn't anything do, too different because they kind of... It's kind of been a uh, running theme throughout the years is that whenever a new Sephiroth metal comes out, it's usually uh, going to be the forefront of what new metals are going to look like and stuff. So... Not too surprised. Um, now, in terms of whether or not, like, how good it is across, like, the meta and setups and stuff like that, my biggest thought is that it... Sephiroth is basically just going to help make power setups on par with, like, speed setups now, essentially. Because even if you're using... Uh, let me go to Tracker, for instance, okay? Even if you're using, like, Fenrir, for example... Okay, where it only has that one uh, power reverse slot. If Tracker wants to load up, where it only has that one power reverse slot, you can like assuming like Sephiroth has like plus five or I mean not plus. If it has like extra attack or something, you can still get a good chunk of uh, buffs just from Sephiroth himself. So if you had like Sephiroth here in this four slot. And you still had like uh, the other buffer metals in these other slots. So what is it like? So if, if you do something simple like this. And you also had like nominating slot 1 and stuff. Like you can easily get a good chunk of buffs now. Okay. Um, power is currently. Or before Sephiroth. Power was currently the weakest uh, attribute in the game at the moment. Just because of fact it simply lacked any decent uh, metal buffing metals at the moment, okay? It had the least amount of them, especially the ones that are currently cropping up as part of the meta. Um, right now, all of the ones that have been cropping up as part of the meta are all speed upright. Uh, and very little has been actually added to magic or power, uh, especially power. But at the very least, Sephiroth now, like if you put in the forest slot, for instance, for just Fenrir, that's not even counting Darknaw, just Fenrir, that alone will already increase your metal strength a whole crap ton. Okay, now normally in the past, you probably have like the uh, Angelic Amber right here in order to copy whatever uh, metal. Oops, I spelled that wrong. In order to copy whatever metal, in this case, Era. Okay, in order to get those extra buffs, um, throughout like just three, these three metals alone, for instance, you would get about 9,000 extra strength. Okay, that's just on the Keyblade, that's not counting the Spirit slot and whatnot, but you get about 9,000 strength right here. But if you switch out the Angelic Amber for Sephiroth right here, you're actually getting 3, 6, 11,000 strength total instead. And that's just by swapping that out with Sephiroth and this is assuming they all had extra attack okay so it's a it's a good chunk of good chunk of uh difference I think I did my math route yeah yeah good chunk of difference uh if we were to take a look at Dark Gnaw instead okay obviously things just get a lot better in this case because then you could actually do like a Sephiroth with Angelic Amber uh, you put maybe like Sephiroth slot 5, there's still, I think, was it Ansem? 
yeah, we had uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Xemnas. Uh, we also just got recently the Supernova Plus Trick Ghost 2, uh, which had like the plus 4,000 or plus 5,000 reverse buffs too. Uh, let me see, what was it? Plus 3,000, that's what it was. So you have like these things as well that uh, get added to the whole, you know, formula. Uh, so overall total, you can get about 15, 45, uh, 10,000. That's about like 14,500 metal strength just from these three medals alone with Sephiroth and Sloth 5. So it's a it's a pretty hefty amount. It's a pretty huge amount. And that's not counting with like Nominee in slot 1. Uh, maybe something else in slot 2 uh, th that increases power strength. Maybe Terra again uh, for even more metal strength. So Dark Gnarl is definitely going to be up there pretty much tied along with Sleeping Lion in terms of one of the best attributes or at least one, it's one of the best keyblades in the game so that's for sure in terms of the meta um, even if you choose not to actually end up using Sephiroth as part of a power setup you could still use it in your spirit slot and whatever other setup you happen to be using uh, to still increase your metal strength overall so uh, just kind of going back to check for example even if I ended up you, you have to keep in mind though too that Sephiroth is a reverse metal so even if you end up using like a upright setup you have to make sure that you're using metal strength metals uh, that are buffing general metal strength and not upright metal strength okay that's like the key thing you kind of have to keep in keep track of otherwise you're actually not going to be taking advantage of those buffs that you're going to be uh, having on your keyblade so let's just take for example we'll, we'll use sleeping line we'll just use sleeping line for example because that's currently one of the best uh assume that sephiroth is in slot five okay we need metals that increase general metal strength so we'll just do that real quick there we go so metals like key art number 21 for example this increases general metal strength and then you could also have like uh uh what's his face the, the copy metal, Luxord. Okay, we don't have the picture yet for, for some reason. Luxord copying Kiara number 21 and such, okay? Uh, you could do that in order to help increase general metal strength. These are the type of metals that you need in order to like make a setup like Sleep in Line actually effective. Of course, you would have like nominate slot one, two and stuff. Uh, so these type of things. Actually, you could probably do it on a uh, Stroke of Midnight too. That actually kind of works out you you could have like you could use metals like uh ava for example too all right because she also increases general metal strength where is she supernova plus ava okay these are like just these type of metals in general these are what, what you would want to try and go for if you're putting like sephiroth in a upright ish type of keyblade but enough about that there's not really too much to be said about this uh, he's straight up just one of the best medals on the game, not only in terms of damage, but also in terms of abilities. He's also one of the best uh, piercing medals for PvP. Not that PvP even matters anymore, to be honest. PvP is kind of dead. Uh, but he also has one of the best supernovas in the game. So overall, oh, like all around, he's just one of the best medals in the game. Uh, now, in terms of whether or not I think you should actually try and pull for Sephiroth, I highly, highly recommend against doing so just solely because of the fact that he is a 15 pull mercy if i've learned anything throughout my years of playing union cross which what has been like four years or something like the at this point it's that don't even bother trying to chase for metal if you can't mercy it that's just it okay you're gonna spend forty-two thousand jewels to try and mercy this guy it's not worth it it's just straight up not worth it, okay? You are much better off, like 20 times better off, going after the actual Black Friday deals in the Moogle shop instead, okay? Most notably, where is it? The 300 gems that you can purchase for 1,000 jewels, right? And I actually went after these myself too. You can get up to two purchases on each attribute so you can actually get a total of 600 gems for power speed and magic each okay so essentially a total 
of 1800 jewels across all three attributes if you were to dump 6000 jewels for all the gems. I highly recommend you go for the gems just because of the fact that you can actually help max out your keyblades ridiculously faster, especially if you're a free to play player. Chances are your keyblade levels are significantly lower compared to most other players who probably even E e even uh, even against cheap to play players who only buy VIP, you know, once in a while, and that's it. Chances are, as a free to play player, your Keyblade levels are significantly lower than theirs are, just because of the fact that VIP players do get free gems as part of the VIP deal. All right, so this is your chance to significantly raise your Keyblade levels to up to at least 40 each for some of your best Keyblades. Like right now, I pretty much have all of my best Keyblades up to at least 40, okay? I have all of my reverse Keyblades up to 40. I have all, uh, or should I say, I have all of my mono attributed Keyblades up to 40, essentially. I have Sleeping Lion, Counterpoint, and Fe Fenrir at least 40, okay? I have my uh, reverse mono attribute Keyblades up to 40 as well, Missing Ache, uh, Diamond Dust and Dark Knoll. They they are all at 40. I even have my Stroke of Midnight and Fairy Stars at 40 as well, just because I have a ridiculously extra amount of gems, um, and I wanted them to at least be remotely around the same power level. So, and if Bad Guy Breaker could have been upgraded even further, I would have upgraded that to 42. Like you, you can easily upgrade all of your Keyblades to at least like around 40 more or less. Um, even if you're a brand new player, you can easily get it up to a really, really high level. So I highly recommend you go after the gems as much as possible. Uh, I also recommend too that if you do care about PvP um, or you still need some like of the Meowaz or whatever from PvP, get the defense boost six max for 1000 jewels as well. You can get up to two copies of it, all right? That's going to be important. Now, whether or not PvP is ever going to become relevant again is, remains to, yet to be seen. Um, I don't think it's going to be relevant anytime soon, but it doesn't hurt to at least have a couple extra copies of the best defense uh, skill in the game, just in case. Uh, also helps in case as well if you happen to want to do any turtle strategies, uh, if you happen to not have any of the strongest actual damage medals in the game for other content too so that's also worth noting um we also have attack boost 8 max and lux plus plus as well for any of you hardcore raiding people out there um like right now the deal the moogle deals are probably the better deals across the whole thing the supernova banner this is not a black friday deal this is a laughing stock of a of a deal okay quote unquote deal <laughs> Don't even do this. Just go for the Moogle stuff. Now, in terms of whether or not what I think about the uh, actual returning medals that are on sale too, they're on for 5,000 jewels each, okay? Uh, Supernova Plus, Kingdom Hearts 3 Pirate Sora, Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie B, Kingdom Hearts 3 Aqua, Ultimate Form Sora, and Kingdom Hearts 3 Dark Baymax. I highly recommend you don't go for any of these the only ones if you really need to get any of these the only ones i would even remotely get are ultimate form sora and that's pretty much it maybe aqua okay if you're severely lacking in magic upright metals that are buffing uh metal strength but like that's it okay i, I, I like ultimate form sora would be the only metal amongst all of these i would even consider getting Otherwise, like you can pretty much skip all of these medals. Um, the trait medals they say is going to rotate, so that kind of just remains to be seen. It just kind of depends on what you need and stuff. Uh, you're getting 99 trait medals for 1,000 jewels. That pretty much almost guarantees you that you can get your the best traits on whatever the medal is that you happen to get 99 traits for. Uh, so that's just on a you know on a case by case uh, basis, uh, depending on what you need as a player. But at the very least, I highly recommend the gems. Okay, because that is by far the biggest, like, that's an actual deal for us players. The best we've ever seen, even as a VIP player, was the 100 uh, gems uh, deal, uh, specials that they would do uh, at times uh, for a specific attribute for VIP. That was the best we ever saw. So the fact that we're getting 300 
Okay. Up to two times for each attribute. That's insane. Highly recommend the gems. Um, and maybe some of the skills. But other than that... Oh, I forgot to mention as well that they do have the uh, all of the best traits in the game for 1,000 jewels as well. Uh, up to five times. So if you need any uh, of your, if any of your best, strongest medals in the game are missing any particular traits, such as minus 60 or extra attack, that's also worth considering as well. These, like these, like quite honestly, just go for the Moogle Shop. That's your best bet. It completely ignored the Sephiroth banner. That is a scam. Uh, don't even bother. But other than that. That's essentially it for today, guys. Go ahead, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are about the current. Oh, oh, I uh, almost forgot to mention. Uh, don't go completely nuts over these uh, deals just yet. Just because of the fact that they did mention that this is only part one of the Black Friday sale. That there is going to be coming a, bla a part two of the sale as well sometime later. They didn't mention when, they just said there's going to be a part two. And who knows what's going to be the part two. If the Moogle shop is already looking this good, um, I'm kind of curious what part two is going to be. But okay, and th that's actually it for now. <laughs> but other than that, go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KX Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.